Hello my lovelies, it's Susanna and today I want to show you how to solve this problem. From a rectangular metal sheet, length 120 centimeters, width 80 centimeters, a rectangular opening with an area of 4784 square centimeters is to be cut out, leaving a border of uniform width around it. How wide is this border? Okay, let's take a look at our picture here where we see this rectangular metal sheet of length 120 with 80. Here in the middle we have this area that is cut out and we have to find the width of this border around here. So we have to find the length of X. So let's go to a new page and try to find this length of X. Maybe we start with this area here in the middle because we already get the size of this area. Uh, let's call one of the sides of this rectangle here A and the length of the other side of this rectangle B. And then we find this area by just taking A times B, right? So A times B gives us the area of this rectangle and this is 4784. Okay, we now have an equation, but the problem is that we have A and B in this equation and we want to find X. So let's try to find a connection between A, B and X. Let's start with our A here. A is part of this entire side, so it is part of this 120, but 120 is too long because we have here the smaller parts on the side. This is X and this is X as well. So A, this small part, equals the entire side, so 120, but this would be too long. So we have to subtract X on this side and X on this side, so we subtract 2 x and this is our a then okay let's do the same with our b b equals what do we have here we have the entire side but then we also have these small pieces here which is x and also here we have x so our b equals the entire side so 80 but this would be too long we subtract x and x so also here we subtract 2x now we found an expression for A in terms of X and we found an expression for B in terms of X. So let's put them in here in our equation. For A, we write this here. So we write 120 minus 2X. Now we want to multiply this by B. So we write it in parentheses and multiply it by our expression for b, which we write in parentheses as well. So we put the 80 minus 2x in here for our b and this equals 4784. And now we have an equation. There is only x in here and we can take this equation and solve it for x. So let's go to another page and do this. Maybe first we multiply these two parentheses. We can do this by taking every element of our first parentheses and multiply it by every element of our second parentheses. So we take the first element and multiply it by every element in here. And we do the same with the second. We take it and multiply it by every element in here. So what do we get then? 120 times 80. You can use a calculator if you want to, that was allowed in that problem here. So if we multiply that, we get 9600. Then the first element here and the second here. So 120 times negative 2x. The result is going to be negative. The numbers, we get 240 and then the x. So negative 240 x then this element in the first here so negative 160 x is what we get and then the last elements are these two negative times negative equals positive so 2 times 2 equals 4 and x times x equals x squared on the other side we have our beautiful number 
Okay, let's simplify the left side and let's rearrange the terms here a little bit. We start with 4x squared, then we simplify the terms with an x. Negative 240 minus 160 equals negative 400x, then the number, and then we still have this beautiful number on the right side. We have a quadratic equation here, and we can solve this by bringing everything onto one side. So we take this number and bring it to the left side by subtracting this number here on both sides. So what do we get then? 4x squared, okay, minus the 400x. Then we calculate this here, use a calculator, we get a result of 4816. And on the other side, this cancels out and we get zero. Now, this equation is perfectly prepared to be solved with a quadratic formula. So let's take our equation here and let's write down the quadratic formula first again. We find solutions for our x by doing the following. Minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. What is my a? What is my b? And what is my c? a is always the number in front of my x squared, so it's the 4. B is always the number in front of my x with a sign, so it's negative 400. And C is always the number that doesn't have any x, so it's the 4816. Let's put these number in our formula. Minus B equals negative 400, so we write it in parentheses, plus minus the square root of b squared, so negative 400, and we square it, minus 4 times a, so it's 4 times c, which is our beautiful number, and we divide it by 2 times a equals 4. Let's simplify this. Minus minus 400 equals positive 400, plus minus now just use a calculator and calculate the square root here. You get a result of 288 and we divide it by 8 then. So we get two results for our x. Our first result, x1, equals 400 plus 288 and we divide it by 8, which equals 86. And the second result we get is 400 minus 288, and we divide it by 8, which gives us 14. So we get two results for our x. I don't like that. I only wanted to have one solution. So what about the 86 centimeters? Is that possible for this problem here? Let's take a look at this part. This has a length of 80. So our x can't be 86 if the entire side is only 80 centimeters. So this is not possible for our problem. The 14, though, that works. This can be 14. This here can be 14. And the entire side still can be 80. And the same with this. So 14 works. And this is the result for our problem. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm curious how you solved this problem. Please let me know in the comments. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care!